Today's broadcast is all about colours. What colour are you? Revelator L. Hello, uh, yes, so this video is all about colours and what kind of colours do you prefer? Now, I'm talking about, I suppose, a link here in this very garish uh, t-shirt that I'm wearing and it's, uh, yeah, it's horrible if, if you think about it, if you look at all the colours, the stripy colours and all that kind of stuff. But, uh, I noticed uh, one particular motorcycle manufacturer has started to release their new models, uh, motorcycle models for 2022, and they've released, or we've got pictures now, of uh, the new colour options. And I've got to say, it's a bit of a damp squid, uh, or squib, or whatever. Uh, listen, listen. Here, here's the deal. When you think about a colour, it usually evokes an emotion. So if you've got red, it usually evokes passion, fire, speed. There's no secret, there's no, uh, there's no surprise here why the likes of Ferrari have red. You know, it's, it, it evokes an emotion. If you've got black, it's dark, it's moody, it's, you know, it's severe, that kind of thing. That's why uh, you've got these classic colors. When you start bringing out colors, and I'm just going to fire pictures up there for you from Harley Davidson, let's say, because they've just brought out their colours. But you could say the same for all motorcycle manufacturers when they come out with their new models and they give you these new colour options. And you think, what were they thinking? What are they thinking with these colours? So I'm just going to stick with Harley Davidson, but the same principle applies, okay? Uh, let's think uh, about um, the Sportster S. Nice little bike, everybody is kind of liking this new engine, this Revolution Max engine, right? Love it, yeah, if you don't know what this bike is, go check it out and all that kind of stuff. Now, they've come out with this new color, there's a few colors, but they've come out with this new color, this mineral green metallic thing, whatever it is, and it just looks awful. Now, okay, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, but does this color green, like a lizard green, uh, swamp thing green does it really evoke speed excitement sports duress it doesn't does it however the street bob uh, got this kind of red line red really nice color why didn't they put that on the sportster s that would have been a great color how about having a kind of really fiery orange there or something like that to evoke you know frivolity and you know passion and all that kind of stuff it seems as if they've mismatched the colors. There's another color they've come out with, this fast back blue. And it's just a bit, it's a bit lame. It's a bit bland. Now I know when you see these bikes in person, you're gonna think, well, yeah, you know, the blue is really nice. Don't get me wrong. But it seems to be mismatched with the bike. You've got it on the, on the street bob, I think. And it's just, it looks a bit, uh. You know, you want something a bit more, you know, hot rod. You want a bit more something, a bit more, a bit wilder. That's why the red line red they got on there. Great. But then you got that fastback blue and you put it on the adventure bike, the Pan America, with white, this white sand pearl. And you think, what's all that about? Why have they done that? It just, it doesn't evoke adventure. It doesn't tell you, do you know what? Let's go out and go into the jungle and let's go and find some lost treasure, you know, or let's go climb the Andes, you know, on, on a motorcycle, or let's go cross country on a tour, you know, in your in your blue and white bike. You know, a blue and white bike is kind of the revival bike colors. You know, it's it's kind of cruising around, you know, on a sunny afternoon sunny Sunday afternoon, go for a little cappuccino, you know, uh, maybe have your girlfriend on the back or your wife on the back and just go, you know, just kind of have a little nice little ride along the beach. You know, it doesn't say adventure. So this is where the colours themselves are not that bad, but it seems to be mismatched. Let us know in the comments below. Let us know what you think. I could be completely wrong here, but a look at these colours are not just on Harley Davidson. This is not a Harley Davidson thing. This is all manufacturers. I, I look at their colors and I think, that color does not match that bike. You know, this blue, let's say, and quite a few manufacturers have gone for this blue, and you think, well, it's just, it's just a naff blue. There are more exciting blues to go for. 
oh, there are more exciting greens, there are more exciting, and it's, you know, what's next? Some pastel colors, you know, a lavender. I bet you some manufacturer is gonna come out with a lavender uh, lavender bike or a lavender plastics at some point. You know, or, or you know, a, a, a nice faded yellow or something like that, and it's just like, ugh. Really? You want something that, you know, gets you excited. And I've got to say, a mineral green or um, or a blue or a crimson. Now, I've got to say, some bikes, these colours, do tend to be suited to. The Fat Boy, I think they've got a range of colours. They've got a Reef Blue, which is slightly different. And they've got a couple of other colours. Yeah, that's not too bad. A lot of the bikes have got this metallic gauntlet grey or gauntlet grey metallic. Yeah, that looks pretty good as well. But some of these colours are quite bland and you think, well, you know, again, you need to be a bit more enthusiastic. You need to be a bit more forthright with the colours. You're kind of bringing out these new bikes or you're trying to sell these new bikes and they're just a little bit do you know what I mean? I could be completely wrong here, but as I say, I decided to wear the garish t-shirt here just to show you how how poor colours uh, ruin an outfit. Uh, well, I think uh, poor colours kind of ruin a motorcycle as well. Now, as I say, beauty is in the eye of the beholder and people may really like these colours and may really like the, that colour on that particular bike. You know, and coming from somebody who only likes black bikes, uh, really, I'm in no position to really criticise, I suppose, because I only like one colour, and that's a black bike. But I have had bikes in the past that have not been black, so and I didn't particularly like them either. So <laughs> there we go. But there we go. Look, it's, it's one of those things. If you like the colours, great. If you don't like the colours... You know, I think they could have they could have come out with better colours, better colour combinations on some of the bikes. Not all the bikes, because I think some of them they work quite well. Let us know in the comments below. Let us know about other manufacturers and what you think about their colour combinations uh, for this year, last year, the year before, or in the future as well. What colour would you choose for your ultimate bike? What would it be and why? Would it be a fiery red? Would it be a deep black? I had a bike once that looked black but it was like a deep dark moonlight blue i forgot what they call the color but it was a beautiful color you know had a bit of metal flake in it as well lovely color beautiful everybody thought it was black but it wasn't so let us know what your favorite color on a motorcycle would be whether it's custom whether it's standard whatever Anyway, don't forget to subscribe and all that kind of stuff. Check out the website, revelatorelf.com. There is lots of information there for you to go uh, check out. Ta-da.